Hi guys! Uh, today I'm going to be doing the Library Lovers Tag. I was tagged in this by uh, Tammy over at Protagonist Pub. Um, let's see. So, uh, I had to wait for a while to do it because I did not have a library card until like a couple months ago. So yeah. Um, so let's see here. The first question is, how often do you visit your local library? Not often, um, just, but I have gone maybe, I think I've, go, I've gone three times so far since I got my library card. I think three times? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, three times. Um, and I got my card in August, so like once or twice a month so far. Are you the type of person who checks out more books than you know you can read, or are you someone who only checks out the exact amount of books you intend on reading before they're due. So far I've just been checking out the exact amount of books. <laughs> the first time I went I was like collecting all of these books and I was like that I was like oh this is interesting to me I want to read this one I want to read this one and I was like Morgan these books will be here. You can come back later and get more. It's fine. <laughs> um, and because this is a small uh, town library I um uh like, there's not going to be a lot of stock of Christian books coming in, I wouldn't think. The baby's in another room with my husband. But you might be able to hear him anyways. <laughs> anyway, I doubt they get in a lot of, like, books I'm interested in very frequently. So, I needed to try to space things out and not just check out, like, 30 books the first day. Um, let's see. How old were you when you got your first library card? My own personal card? 25. Because that was this year. Um, as in, like, started using the library. I used it when I was a kid, maybe, like, seven or eight. I don't remember, but it was my mom's card. So, I think. I assume it was my mom's card. Yes, because the library looked me up in their system, and I didn't, I'd never had one. So, it was my mom's card that I used when I was a kid. Um, do you go to the library looking for a particular book, or do you check out anything that piques your interest? It depends. Usually, I'm, and, um, usually I am just looking at whatever, so far, again, I've only been three times. Um, first time was the Keep Me in Suspense readathon, and so I checked out a few. I think I checked out only suspense books. Second time, I was still in the Keep Me in Suspense readathon, so I was still checking out only those books. But I had called and reserved a book, or not called, like online. They have a website where you can just click reserve a book or whatever, and they'll put it, you know, put it behind the desk for you, and you pick it up later. Um, so I did have to go get that one. Um. I have looked for books that they don't have. I don't know if that counts. But yeah. Typically I'm just kind of looking. Um, and I also have been looking up online. Like our library has their entire catalog online. So you can go. I guess this seems like this is like a universal system. So most libraries probably do that. Um, I could go online and see like. Oh hey my library has this book. But it's uh, checked out right now. Or or my library just got this book. Or has this book in. I want to. That's why. The book that I reserved was um, In This Moment by Gabriel Meyer, and I know that, like, I don't, you know, knowing that series being a, is as popular as it is, I was like, I don't know if it's going to be this, that popular in this small town, but I know it wasn't there the first time I went to look, because I think I would have noticed that book, because I really wanted to read books two and three, because um, that didn't happen uh, yet. I just had book one, and so I was like, oh, reserve. As soon as I saw that one was available, I was like, yep, taking that one. I'm, I want to, I want to have that. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Do you use your library to check out just books, or do you also check out DVDs, audiobooks, etc.? So far, physically, all I've checked out is books. Um, we will probably wind up getting movies and stuff, especially once the baby gets a little older. Um, but for right now, he's so small, we, I don't want him watching too much TV anyways. Um, we're trying to economize our life and therefore you know canceling a lot of stuff that we don't need things like that so yeah however i do check out libby i love libby uh just found it again because i just got a library card but already i don't know it'd be embarrassing to tell you how many books i have read and listened to through libby because i loved it love it so much um i've not even opened my kindle app other than like to like check a notification or whatever for several weeks now because i've just had libby and in my head, those books I have to send back. My Kindle books are going to be there forever. These books have to go back somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so I've checked out audiobooks through Libby, and I have checked out ebooks through Libby. From what middle grade section of your library do you check out a majority of your books? Why middle grade, adult, nonfiction? Um, adult fiction, my library actually just has fiction generally, like 
almost all genres. I think Western is separated out, weirdly enough. And, like, when I say Western, I mean, I don't mean, like, Mary Connolly is one of the authors, like, um, you know, Western romance, I think, is not included in that. Those are included in general fiction. Western, if that is its own job, if that, I've, I have not looked at that sh those shelves at all, but if that is the fiction Westerns, it's just, like, Louis L'Amour kind of stuff, I think. <laughs> um, like I said, I've not checked that out. But, um, uh, it, all of the, re most of the general fiction is just kind of mixed together. So, you have this same shelves that have, like, Christian is mixed in with the secular, which I guess is not a surprise. But you also have historical, modern, and fantasy. Like, Lord of the Rings is just on the shelves there, like, next to, you know, I don't know what exactly it's next to, but, you know, next to the contemporary fiction. It's just, like, weird. Um, and I wish they had a different system. I mean, I get it. It's a very small library, so that makes sense. But still, it would be nice if it was, um, bigger. If the, so like, not if it was bigger. It would be nice if the library was bigger, for sure. It'd be nice if they mixed, th or separated the different genres out. That would be really helpful. <laughs> for me. Because, you know, if, especially, just, just, if just Christian fiction was its own, like, two shelves at the end. That would be great, too. But no. Alright, and then question seven is, um, what is your favorite part of using your local library? Um, free books. Obviously. Is that not everyone's part of using the local library? Free books, free DVDs, whatever you check out. I mean, yes, we pay for them with our taxes, but, you know, pretty much free. Um, alright, that is the end of the library lovers tag. Uh, thank you again, Tammy, for tagging me. And, um, I'm not going to tag anybody because I don't, this was a kind of popular tag. It went around for a while. But if you do, you, if you do ha have a local library that you use, please feel free to do this tag. Say I tagged you, tagged you. Um, make sure to leave me a comment below and like and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.